1965 D7 Bantam single switch. Uh, Makuni VM22. Um, adapted by uh, cutting away the um, little holes. We're not quite big enough with a stainless um, washer and the bolt. Um, fitted it to the D7. And um, what you're about to see now is a short clip of the bike ticking over and then another short video of it uh, post a run at about 30 mile an hour um, on an estate road. Okay, so that's the uh, VM22 carburetor bought from eBay, um, standard jets. Um, and that's the colour of the plug um, after a uh, moderate run on estate roads um, in Top Gear, which is third on this 1965 BSA. Um, yeah, I don't know what to make of that. Um, anyway, I'll post the video and see what people uh, come back with. Um, it doesn't help with the fact that um, I don't know with regards to the uh, choke on the VM whether that is choke on or that is choke off um, up or down. I would imagine that that's choke and then obviously things fall down don't they as you ride so that's choke off but um, I messed around with um, various positions of the uh, choke and it didn't make any actual running difference um, of the bike. The bike is fitted um, with a Bones uh, CDI uh, is a 1965 single switch D7 and um, I've just had an afternoon in the sun uh, messing around at one of my garages um, because I've had this Makuni um, after meeting a chap at the local branch meet at Upwood and um, being encouraged and um, getting a bit of enthusiasm for how cheap these carburetors are. The catalyst was that I had a worn monoblock um, or what I believed a worn monoblock. I've spent, um, as you do, been sucked into buying uh, new needles, new jets, new slides and actually these are about £22 delivered. Um, I'll post the link as I progress with uh, messing around with the jetting uh, and the fueling. Um, yeah, just notice that I've not got an inline fuel filter there. I hope I don't regret it on this old bike. But um, hope you've enjoyed this short video. Thanks for watching.